Product bundles are fixed combinations of products that you sell at a discount. Where a product combination does not have a discount and the consumer can choose what he wants, a bundle is always a fixed set of products. Garden Furniture Set is a good, uh, is a good example of this. In the Garden Connect CMS, all items included in the bundle are always shown separately. However, if you order it in a bundle, you can get a discount. Let's show you, let's see how this works. Go to web shop on top of your page, go to products, and again, select products. You remember the two seat bench from the previous video. We made a combination with the two seat bench and the cover two seater. Now in this video, I'm going to make a bundle of these two so we can apply a discount. Let's do that. So on the left, go to the bundles option and click on it. Over here, we can create the first bundle. So I'll click on add. Over here, you can see a couple of fields. Let me explain them to you. The first one is the name. The name is two seat bench with premier cover. You can also have an action button text and a small text underneath. Now, this depends a little bit on the layout of your website. In this case, we are only going to add a small text and the small text is 10% off on this bundle. In regards to the pricing, you also have a few options. You can add your own bespoke pricing for this bundle. So in that case, you need to enter your own price over here, or you can apply a discount percentage on all the items within the bundle. So if you want to do the latter, you just enter 25, for example. And in that case, 25% will be taken off the original price you entered on the product page on your web shop. However, if you want to have a fixed price for this bundle, you need to leave this empty and you can include the price over here. So it's 125 and with the bench, you need to enter the standard rate, of course. If you want, you can also add the old price. The old price for these two items together, it's 138.98 pence. And of course, this bundle is active. Now the next step is to add the bundle contents. We need to add the bench to start with. So let's search for bench and over here you can see the two seat bench. The next one we need is the cover and coincidentally the cover is already shown over here and it's the cover for the two seater. Let's add that one. As with the combinations, you only need one bench and one cover within a bundle. However, if you're creating a bundle of a table and four chairs, you need one table and you can have four chairs over here. As you can see, the prices are shown over here. In this case, we don't need to do anything with the prices because we've entered a bundle price of 125. The next step is to select the pages where you want to display the bundle. We want to display this one on the two seat bench page. So let's select that one. I rarely don't recommend you to show the bench on the cover page the other way around. And why is that? Well, if people are in the market for a bench, they might want to have a cover. But if they're in the market for a cover, they probably have the bench already. So if, since you're potentially mixing up different products from different shipping conditions, you need to select the appropriate shipping condition or conditions for this item. So let's say this is just delivery. Once we're ready, click on save. And of course, you're wondering how the bundle looks in the web shop. Let me explain it to you. Over here, you can see the bundle. First, you see the title and the small text underneath 10% off on this bundle. You can see all the product images. In this case, we've selected two items, the seater and the cover. So both are shown. And as explained, we included an offer. The bundle is right now available for 125 pounds. If you click on buy now, the item will be added to your shopping cart. You can add as many bundles as you want and you can include one item in multiple bundles. Now you should be able to set up product combinations and bundles. Feel free to use them both. We've also come to the last video of this series about managing your web shop. You now know almost everything about managing and optimizing your web shop. And if you still have a few questions, you know where to find us.